maybe I'm fresh off an Elon Musk article that said that there was a point in time where Elon Musk was working 100 hours a week. And this particular, this, this client of mine, family that I've worked with, he's just a super hard worker. And oh, like 80 hours a week, right? Oh, and 80 hours a week, people, when people say 80 hours a week, I don't know if they really understand exactly what 80 hours really is. And then to do that over and over and over and over again, that it's all, it's, it's all unhealthy, right? I mean, that, that much work is almost unhealthy. You, and you, and you put that in with travel and you're going back and forth to Texas every single week, or you're flying to Philadelphia from Atlanta every single week. How long can you do that? So how often do you see somebody who's not teeter tottering Roger, when they're all on the, Hey, I'm just going to really work my ass off and I'm going to grind this thing out because I'm saving 400 grand a year, but I'm going to retire at 50 and then I'm going to really slow down. Then I'm going to do all the stuff I want to do. And, and I see people doing that. Now, I, do you see people approach it like that? Yeah, I have two thoughts on that, uh, or two comments. The first is, that was my mom. Hmm. And so I tell the story in my book of my mom. And maybe this is why I do retirement planning the way that I do. But she was that person. She you know, graduated. She was a single mother with two children. So she had to work her butt off for that. And then she went to law school at age 40. And I can remember her, she had to uh, commute into Detroit from Ann Arbor every day. I barely saw her. So I was a latchkey kid. And she and I used to have these active discussions and her about her life because she was just killing herself. And I was always live for today because I was young. And that's what a 19 year old says. And she was like, no, I'm going to do all this stuff. And then when I get to this age, I'm going to enjoy my life. Um, and then right when I graduated college and moved down to Texas, uh, she passed away from cancer. So that I think imprinted Sorry. on me a little so bit. So she was young. So you, this is yeah, right. 48 years old. Holy. That's 48 awesome. years old. So that, I think that perspective, I get a lot. Um, the other thing on working really hard, I think the problem, part of the problem is one is, the classical idea of going back to classical, classic idea of retirement is that you do that. You work and save, work and save, work and save, and then you can be on the brochures of retirement, you know, retirement uh, products and on the beach. And we tend to think of retirement as a light switch, right? It's either on or off. When, and I think your book points this out really well, it's really like a dimmer switch. There's a lot of in between where you can gain more of your life. And what I have found with the kind of example you gave of that person is I'll have a lot of people, they're telling me they want to retire and then we'll go through the planning and get the feasibility study study and show that it's okay. And I'm going to grab one of these because I bought these last week, Wes, uh, people that are listening on the show can't see it, but this is a straw man. And I bought these last week because as I was in, having as this in a of, straw As in a straw man argument or? <laughs> exactly. Because I would... Yeah. We, they would tell me this is exactly what I want to do, and then we lay out how to do it. But 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 I can't because I'm doing this big project. Or they'd hold up, and then I'd knock that straw man down, or at least put the mirror to them, and then they would just continually hold up straw man. And what I think happens with people that are institutionalized in such a hard work environment, especially in corporate or entrepreneurial, is they want to get away and gain life freedom. But the problem is they're institutionalized. They gain so much of their self-worth and freedom and admiration from their income that they think they want to be on the outside, but they're really, really comfortable in a world that they know. You know another another uh, visual that comes to mind, Wes, is you remember the movie Shawshank Redemption? Mm -hmm. And, you know, one, one gentleman that was released, he thought he wanted to be on the outside and he actually committed suicide. You know, people want, they are comfortable and they've been doing the same thing for decades. And when we get to this idea of retirement, they like the idea of some time freedom, but then it's so foreign to them. They don't know how to navigate the in-between. Mm 